Hi everybody. I am going to show you how I made sandpaper letters for my daughters uh, using the Cricut cutter. So sandpaper letters are great and Montessori uses them but they're kind of expensive and so to, I'm going to show you how uh, you cut these with the Cricut cutter. Uh, one thing you need to be sure of is that you when you're cutting it it needs to be backwards so that the sandpaper is on the front and it's going to be laying down backwards on the cutting mat. So first of all I got on to design space and I put in my letters and I flipped them at the top of your design space it has a spot where you can flip and I flipped them horizontally. The font that I used was called Learning Curve and it did cost me five dollars for the the font but you could use a different one if you wanted to. So once I had it set up um, I put it on 9 by 12 as the size but then I only Put the letters um, so that they went down part of the way not quite all the way and that way it cuts just right anyhow I taped it on to the cutting mat so that it would stay securely and then I set the uh, I set it to cut on uh, glitter paper that was the setting for the um, of how hard to cut it and that worked very well because it's very similar to sandpaper and the sandpaper that I used is uh, 220 grit and it's the size of it is 9 by 12 inches or 9 by 11 inches so once I had it all set and I cut it, it a blade lasts for about uh, three or four sheets of cutting. So here's one of the sheets that was cut and it cut well, but after a few cuttings it didn't cut so well and uh, I had to kind of tear it out. And so I ended up buying some blades on Amazon there was a whole bunch of them uh, like these and I used the red blades to do it and that worked very well uh, then I once I had them cut I cut uh, out of poster board I cut three inch by two and a half inch uh, cards to put them on in two different colors so that the vowels would be a different color than than the regular consonants. Uh, one of my daughters wanted them on balsa wood uh, little squares or rectangles and so I painted those but when I painted them they came out rough and so I had to paint them three or four times before they became smooth enough to put them on and not feel like the sandpaper. Um, but it's very simple to make them with the, the uh, poster board. And then to glue them on I used uh, Gorilla Glue uh, spray adhesive and that worked very well. I just made sure to turn them over so that they were on the backs and then spray them with the spray adhesive and then just take my finger and touch it and it would come up and I'd lay it on the uh, card and pat it down and that worked very well um, and so that's my tips for making sandpaper letters if you have any questions put them in below and subscribe to my page thank you Bye.